Um, I am Ruth Weidevin. I have a solo exhibit presently at the Wapaka Area Public Library. And it, I have 24 of my oil paintings that were inspired by trips down through Central America, well, Mexico, parts of Mexico, Central America, and South America. The work was inspired by those countries and the cultures down there, the indigenous people, the artwork. I've, um, I just backpack. So I've collected a lot of small items that are easy to put in your backpack and they are in, on display here at the library. I, I travel by backpack. About two thirds of my trips I go alone and people usually ask me, well, are you frightened? Have you ever had a bad experience? And I really haven't. Um, people, I dress modestly, I speak Spanish. People are very, very friendly. Um, I'm not intimidating to them or in any way, shape, or form. So I go from village to village and I, I ask people what they're making by hand. I know certain villages have uh, perhaps, uh, they're known for their fabrics. Other villages might be known for their jewelry. And I just wander around and see what other people are making by hand and take a lot of photographs. And then I use the photographs from my own paintings since I wouldn't go down there and paint on location since I'm only backpacking. So uh, I hope people can come and enjoy the exhibit. I have, um, there are maps here so people are aware of uh, what, where these countries are located and the topography of each country since some are Amazon jungle and it goes up into the Andes mountains and then dry coastal areas. So. I, I've had, a, here's one, for example, uh, I've had, twice I've been able to go down into the Amazon, into the Amazon basin, once in Ecuador and once in Bolivia. And uh, I take a lot of photos and then I compile the photos in order to make a painting. And I divide space and, you know, somewhat abstract, but you can still identify what is what. that I collect on my travels is flutes. I love playing these flutes. I've collected more than these. This is just a portion of the flutes that I've collected. They're easy to put in a backpack and carry home. They are, each one is in a different key. They're made with a variety of different types of wood. The one right here looks tubular. That's called a zampogna, uh, a pan flute in English. It has a very soft, beautiful sound. And the one next to it that's laying on the bottom, that's a cana. And that is a very, very traditional flute in especially Bolivia, Peru, anywhere up in the Andes Mountains. I cannot play that one as hard as I've tried, but it's a, it has a beautiful sound and a wider range than the other flutes. Back in 2008, I decided on a whim. I was traveling in Bolivia with my daughter and um, she left to go back home. I decided on a whim that I was going to go to Machu Picchu because I might never be able to have that opportunity again. So I took a bus, it was a 12 hour bus from Bolivia to um, Cusco. I found a trekking company and went with a group of Asians. There were seven of us total, including the guide. And we did a trek to Machu Picchu, four day, five day trek over the Salkantay Trail. There are many Inca trails, there isn't just one. And the Salkantay Trek goes up, it's the highest of the trails. At the top, it's, I wanna say around 16,000 feet, very high. And it was quite the experience because to hike to Machu Picchu. So we spent the day in Machu Picchu, hiking around the ruins. Uh, this is a photo that I took of Machu Picchu. It's kind of the traditional photo people see. This is inside of Machu Picchu. I titled it Temple Doorway. It was just a beautiful doorway and the light was shining just perfectly. And I took a photo of it and came home and painted the painting. Uh, 
a lot of the indigenous cultures are known for their fabric art. And so I've um, learned a lot about fabric art, natural dyes versus synthetic dyes, machine-made fabrics versus handmade fabrics on a backstrap loom, typically. So Guatemala, Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia are, are very rich with fabric art. Here are some examples from Guatemala, Bolivia, the hats are Bolivian. One is made with synthetic dyes, the other is natural dyed. And again, Bolivia, the blue bag, bolsa, right there is from Guatemala, all handmade on a backstrap loom. ago I went down to well I was traveling in southern Peru and I went to Nazca where there are the incredible I believe it's a world heritage site the Nazca lines you can fly over the lines in an airplane for around fifty dollars and see all of these huge geoglyphs on the ground that you cannot see I mean from a plane that you cannot see on the ground uh, on that visit I on that trip I met Felix who has been a friend for years and years. He performed ceremonies in the desert. We went on a hike and climbed a, a mountain. And uh, very fascinating people that I meet when I'm traveling. People from all walks of life, both other travelers and the local people that I get to know personally.